I am Nathaniel P. Hoop with Snow Sign. And the other day, I was walking in the early hours of the morning, about 7 o'clock, by some kind of noise down in my bar. So I, I got up out of bed and I thought, who's this? Some, some bitch broke into my bar again. Why, why, why is everyone breaking into my bar? It's not like it's a really expensive place. I, I just creeped down the stairs. And I heard some kind of sounded like things being moved. And I heard a few bottles break. And I thought, what the hell is going on here? And as I got to the bottom of the stairs, there there was this this rabbit. There's a goddamn seven foot rabbit. And, and he, he suddenly stopped because he knew I was there. And he slowly turned around. And he stared at me. And he was holding the basket. And the basket was full of Easter eggs. And, and, and he took one of the Easter eggs out with his paw. And he, he took off the foil and he started eating this, this chocolate. It was the goddamn Easter Bunny, son. The goddamn Easter Bunny was in my ball. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, it's like I'm a magnet for kind of mystical, magical beings now. It's like I, I can't seem to escape them everywhere I go. They just seem to show up. They even show up at my, 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 my bar. And I don't know how they know about me why I keep finding myself meeting all, all these, these magical people and beings. And that, now it's the goddamn Easter Bunny sign. I, I, I was lost for words. I, I didn't know what the hell to say. He, 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 he just... <laughs> he just took one of the Easter eggs out of his basket and and he offered it to me. And, and he kind of, kind of nodded as if it was okay for me to take it. I, I, I found myself kind of stepping forward a little bit and I, I took that egg. I, I didn't really want to eat it because I thought it could be, could be cursed or something. But I, I eat that chocolate and something bad is going to happen to me. So. I just put it in my pocket. And then the Easter Bunny, he started hopping around my, my bar, hiding the Easter eggs all over the place. And then, and then, then he said to me, these Easter eggs are a certain kind of special Easter egg. And I, I said, what kind, kind of Easter eggs are they sign? not believing that this is actually really happening. And he, he said, he said, each egg has been enchanted with some kind of spell. I thought, oh, great. So it's not just regular chocolate eggs, it's some kind of weird magic eggs. And he, he said, one of them will cause an explosion <laughs> and will blow your whole bar to kingdom come. Uh, so uh, I didn't know the Easter Bunny did that. I, I didn't know that the Easter Bunny put explosive Easter eggs in, in people's houses and wants to watch them blow up. And he said he doesn't, it's just, just me. Because he, he heard I was bad. And he, he, he's heard about all things I've done and the kind of adventures I've had and he decided he's going to put a stop to me. And he said he thought he's going to deal out some kind of justice. I, I didn't know the Easter Bunny deal, dealt out justice. I don't know that Easter Bunny was into that kind of thing. It looks like he likes to punish people. He likes to punish bad people.
and he said, I've got an hour to find the explosive egg if I want to save my bar in my life. And I said, what did the other eggs do, son? And he said, you'll find out. But you have to find all the eggs that have been hidden around the bar and then peel back the foil and open the egg up inside and the spell will be cast and then the spell will do something to me. And I have no choice but to do that because I have to find the explosive egg so that my bar doesn't blow up. Goddamn sick son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't believe this. And then he, he laughed. He thought it was really funny. And he laughed, a strange kind of bunny laugh. And then he hopped around with excitement. He said this, this is one of the most fun times he's had for a while. He's gotten pretty tired of being used to bunny and just giving chocolates to people and, and he wants to do something more fulfilling. So he's, he's got into the karma business where he deals out punishments to people who've been bad. And that, that's what he does the rest of the year. But I said, this is Easter, son. This is Easter day today. And he said, <laughs> he said that he, he deals out egg and extra special punishment on Easter day. And, I, and I'm the chosen one this year. In fact, this is the, the first Easter day where he's decided to be the bunny of punishment. The, the, the Easter bunny of punishment. I guess, guess he must have made one too many Easter eggs and at some point he, he just snapped. I guess he, his mind is gone. I, and I'm the one who's paying the price for the Easter Bunny going insane. And he looked, he looked crazy. There, there was this look in his eyes and his eyes were kind of like crossed. He was the crossed eyed bunny. And I, I thought he, he he's definitely gone. He, he's become a lunatic. In all of my life, I never would have expected something like this to happen. But it is. And it's real. Uh, and I, I'm going to have to play this bunny's game. And I, I got no choice. And he said he's going to come with me on the Easter egg hunt. Because he wants to see my reactions. Some bitch wants to watch my reactions. And he told me I better start searching now because I've only got an hour till my bar blows up. And, and he kind of came in like this, kind of towards, towards the fridge. I, I almost didn't care. I almost thought I'm just going to let my bar blow and I'm just going to walk away. And I very nearly did. I thought, I, I'm, I'm tired of all this crap happening to me. And I thought maybe, maybe I should just walk away and let my bar blow up. I thought, I'm not going to let this bunny win. This, this son of a bitch Easter bunny is not going to blow up my bar. No one blows up the bar of Nathaniel P. Hoop Whistle. So I thought, I'm going to play your, your, your game for now. And then we'll see what happens later. See if we can make the tables turn. So I went over to my fridge and he came with me. And I, I very slowly opened it up and I saw an Easter egg inside. And he insisted that I pick it up, so I did. And I put back the foil, and I opened up the chocolate, and there was this puff of blue smoke. And I thought, what's going to happen to me now? And then, then my arms suddenly changed. They started to change into these lizard arms. I had the goddamn lizard arms, son. And then my, my face started to change too, and I was turning into some kind of goddamn lizard. And that the Easter Bunny was laughing, he thought it was so funny. And he said, don't worry, this will only last for like half an hour, and then you'll be human again. For the next half an hour, you got to be some kind of lizard. Some kind of walking around human type lizard thing. And you got no goddamn choice, and it's just part of your punishment. So I thought, I want to turn you into a goddamn lizard, son. So, so I... I I carried on searching around my bar for the next egg, and I found it, and I, I opened it up, and and the bunny, there was another puff of, of smoke, but it was green smoke this time, and the bunny said, I've got to go and stand outside and wait for what happens next. So I did. I didn't want it, but I just didn't have much choice. And then it started to rain. 
And he said, this, this is what, what you deserve. I thought, what, rain? I thought, rain's not a goddamn punishment, son. Until the rain started to burn through my clothes. And it turns out it was acid rain, son. Goddamn acid rain. This bunny's put a spell inside this egg that caused acid rain to start burning through my clothes and through my hat. So this is another new hat. All the acid rain went right into my head and started burning the whole thing away. And then he started laughing and I ran back inside. And, and he, he got down low. And I could hear people outside screaming because the acid rain was affecting them. And I said, well, that's not a very nice thing to do, is it now, son? I said, you may want to punish me, but not you're punishing people outside as well. And they're being affected by the acid rain. And he told, him, he told me it was my fault that other people are being hurt because my, my bad deeds have led to this, to this day. And if I hadn't have been bad, then the people outside wouldn't be punished now and wouldn't be suffering because of me. No, I didn't really know what, what to say to that, son. And then he told me the third egg is, is somewhere nice and warm and I better go and find it before it melts. So I figured it must be inside my fireplace. So I went over to that fireplace and I found that egg and I opened it up and I didn't want to. I didn't want some other weird freaky thing happen. And this time there was a puff of iron smoke. And I heard my, my horse outside making some noise. And he came down there and along out of the stable and into the bar. And he suddenly started to shrink right down. And he transformed into a chicken. I got down. My, because of this Easter bunny and his, his magic eggs, my horse was now a chicken. And the Easter Bunny laughed. And he said that roast chicken has always been his favorite meal. And then he went. Uh, you're not gonna eat my horse. My, my horse has turned into a chicken. You're not gonna eat my chicken horse. Uh, I didn't know what no Easter Bunny ate chicken. I, I thought he would have been a vegetarian, but obviously not. And he said, your horse will only stay a chicken for a half an hour. So these spells seem to just last half an hour. But if I, I don't hurry up, then uh, my, my chicken horse is gonna blow up with me in this bar if I, if I don't get get a move on. I'm trying to find these other eggs. Uh, I, I found the fourth egg upstairs in my bedroom. So I opened up that fourth Easter egg and there was a puff of blue smoke this time. I took a swig of whiskey to try and calm my nerves and I, I spat the, the stuff out. I, I couldn't stand it. It was disgusting. I, I suddenly hated whiskey. I hated whiskey with a passion. I couldn't stand it. I suddenly I, ha I hated all booze. And then I thought, this must be the spell. And the Easter Bunny hopped up the stairs and he started laughing and, and pointing at me. And he said, now you will hate whiskey and all booze for the next half an hour. I thought, you cruel son of a bitch. I that, that's one of the most evil things I ever heard of to make me, me stop knocking booze. And he just couldn't stop laughing. So I went downstairs and I found the fifth egg underneath my, my chair by the fireside. And I heard some kind of ticking inside. I thought, bless the, bless the, I found, found the bomb. I found the exploding egg, I opened it up, and there was a little tiny, tiny bomb inside with a little timer on it, and it was counting down, and it was nearly time to blow. And the Easter Bunny, he said to me, enjoy the explosion. I, I said, I thought that I was going to live if I found the bomb. And he said, no, he was lying. He said that he came here today with the intention of blowing me up all along. And he has he will not let me live because it's because I'm, I'm, I'm bad and I shouldn't be allowed to live and I keep escaping death all the time and he said he's, he's going to finally put a stop to it and he's going to finish me off here today and he began to laugh and then he kind of hovered up into the air and then he started to fly away I didn't know the Easter Bunny could fly and he, he started to fly away so I, I and he flew out the door 
and it's about to go up into the sky. So I chased after him. My, my, my chicken suddenly transformed back into a horse. And, and I, I jumped on, on my horse and I started chasing the bunny down the street as he was flying through the air. And I don't think he realized I was coming after him. And I, and I just took that ticking bomb, Easter egg, and, and I threw it up into the sky and it landed in his basket. And then he started to fly higher into the sky. And then suddenly, the whole thing blew up. And the Easter bunny blew up with his bomb and his other Easter eggs. I thought, well, well that, that's, that's, that's a sudden turn of events, son. When I, I said a while ago that the tables would turn, when he was doing this, this crap to me, I said the tables will turn. And it looks like they have. And it looks like I'll be having rabbit stew for lunch.